I think we are building the dream network for astronomers or for people who love the sky. I would love to uh, have our technology being used by Web2 companies. So they implement it into their, uh, their apps, into their, uh, their website. And it's very common for people be able to see uh, uh, the sky of, in Australia while living in, uh, in, the, in Europe. Uh, and we be also, um, we become kind of a standard, basically. Mm -hmm. Becoming sky mapper compatible should be what uh, will happen in the future for instruments capable of observing the sky. And we are, we are going to have an, access, an open access network. We are not going to control everything. So we want people to also be creative. Maybe some people will come with a very great ideas of how we can find uh, laser pulse, detect laser pulse from extraterrestrial civilization, or maybe something else like the squeeze photons or the, the signature of quantum entanglement from, uh, from uh, extraterrestrial advanced civilization. Well, maybe not, let's dream about this. But this instrument should be on the SkyMapper platform. So they all, we know that the data are traceable, immutable. They, we, we become kind of a standard to make sure that the astronomy of the future will be, will be done in a way that people can trust that this is a real observation and not an AI-generated one.